Okay, everybody here is pretty much level 20. Okay, Kent, you're really the last guy we really got to worry about. So we're going to send Kent in. Ooh, he's going up against a mage, huh? Wow, 13 damage. That's a lot. Um, uh, hopefully, Kent, you're fast enough to go twice because that will make this a lot easier. Okay, good. There's that speed pulling through. I knew you were fast, Kent. These, the, these mercenaries here were giving you a run for your money speed-wise, but now that you're back against, you know, normal people, your speed is pulling through. 16. Wow, that's good for... I think that's pretty good for a horse, a mounted unit. All right, well, and hey, yeah, hey, Linus, we'll, we'll be with you in a second. Oh, oh wow, he got, he's he's going up, he's going up against another mage. All right, 12 damage. All right, 14. Yeah, that's a that's all that's that's a that's a pretty good chunk of health. But Kana should go twice because he, I mean Ken should go twice because he's Kent. Beautiful. Have I been calling him Canis the whole time? I sure hope I haven't. All right, an iron sword, huh? Ooh, wow. You know, I know Kent, Kent isn't the strongest banana in the bunch, but. This is actually kind of even, damage-wise. Oh, but no, if Kent's going twice, this it's not even. Never mind. 61, all right. I, wow, he missed twice with 85? Come on, don't make this harder than it has to be, buddy. I think I'm thinking Kent is not as good as he really is because lately he's just been missing when he really shouldn't. And I think it's just putting, like, a bad taste in my mouth or something. Oh, 97. Gosh darn it. Oh, critical hit from Kent to take out the Myrmidon! Beautiful, Kent. You just saved yourself. <laughs> Alright, for the three experience, it was worth it. So, Kent is now part of the 20 club. Gets strength. That's what I like to see. Hopefully, when we make him a paladin, he gets, like, plus three strength or something. I, I, don't, re I don't really know what determines that, but I sure hope that's what happens. Alright, uh, Kent, you can go over here to the 20 club. And the only people who really are... We can do, we can do Matthew! Not. Um, no, no, sorry, Matthew. With all respect, it's just, you know, I was planning on replacing you with Legault. But, okay, Lynn's at 9. Uh, Ellie Wood is actually uh, still at 18. Um, you know what? No, because El Ellie Wood classes up in a weird way. And it probably wouldn't be worth it to him to go for him to go to the arena right now. So we are going to charge the troops over to Linus. And we're going to fight him and beat him and read the dialogue. So let's do it. Who wants to buy stuff? Just, just because we've been doing a lot of healing this chapter, I'm gonna buy some heals and even a mend. Florina, lead the way! Because she, she can move so far, we'll, we'll let her be like the shining star in the sky or something. She will lead the troops to victory. Alright, we got two sorted guys here. We're gonna have Florina fly up ahead and intercept them. Uh, she's got a lance, so she should do fine. And we're gonna, we're gonna see our new classed up Florina in action. Oh boy, I can't wait! I also want to see this new sexy Rebecca in action. Um, in more ways than one. No, not really. But yes, really. And we're gonna move just move everybody up ahead so they can approach uh, our good man Linus, the first member of the four fangs that we've run into. All right, everybody's moved up. Here they come. All right, what do you got for us, Rebecca? Oh man, 20 damage, here it comes, ooh, oh she fly, oh, that animation, that, oh man, that animation, whoa, that animation, look, she's gonna like fly up, wait, wait she like charges up, and then, whoo, and then like she does like the, like the, the cross in front, how cool is that, man, how cool is that, alright, Rebecca, I wanna see what you got, alright, yeah, wow, tw 22 times 2? 22 times 2, oh my god! Oh man! Oh, boom, baby! Oh, oh man, oh, that's the quiver. That's what she's got along her back, the quiver. I thought it was like a shovel. The quiver, that's what that is. Okay, awesome. And... Is he gonna move? Oh boy, um, actually, I don't know if he's gonna move. We're gonna move everybody back real quick. Yeah, um... Yeah, uh... Okay, uh, wait, hold, hold the phone. Uh, wait, um... Yeah, I don't want this guy jumping in and slashing at Rebecca. She's only got 12 HP. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. But you know, let's have Dart see what we uh, we'll see what Dart can do against this. What is with this? Why is the steel axe going twice for him? And why is the iron axe only going once? I don't get it. But let's see what Dart's got. Whoa, that was kind of weird. He's kind of like kneels down and hits him with the axe. That's that's kind of cool. Um, but you know, it, 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 he's he's much better this way anyway. So I might as well keep him this way. Alright, is he gonna move? 
All right, he's not gonna move. That, that's, I, that, I didn't expect that, but. I'll drop her off. All right, who, what, when, where, how, why? Okay. What we're gonna do, what I'm gonna try to do is bait him into using his hand axe, which I don't know how I'm gonna do. Uh, I know, I'll use, I'll use Florina. She, she should be fast enough so that, um, that, that he, he'll, like, toss his hand axe and hopefully miss. So then by the time he's got his hand axe, he won't be able to use his silver sword. Um, and we can just, you know, have four, we can have four people surround him and just wail on him. Not even four people. Like, not, eight. Max is eight. And just, ha and just wail on him. So that will be the story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, if I've done my math correctly, I'm gonna put Florina in hand axe range. I'm gonna put her in hand axe range. I know axes, wait, axes have the advantage. Wait, axes have the advantage here. Not swords. Oh, that, that actually should be fine. Might as well throw the javelin for good measure. Pray that I give you that much, that I'll give you that much time. All the evil that you've done up to now, repent it and sleep. Wait, evil? Why Why do these, you know, everyone seems to think the Black Fang are the good guys and that we're the bad guys. Even the Black Fang themselves seem to think that. But he's in hand axe range, so... Alright, alright, alright. Florina should definitely be able to survive at least one hand axe throw from this clown. Um... Uh... Yeah, 20 damage, that's a lot, but that'll be okay. And she'll weaken him a little bit more with the javelin. But now everybody should be, yeah, everybody should be in, in, in prime position to just get up in his face and beat the crap out of him. Okay. 18 times 2. Wait, oh, but that's only 57% chance? I don't like them odds. I don't like them odds. Wait, let's see what she's got with an iron bow. Alright. Oh, wait, she's not healed. Whoops, hold on a second. Because Rebecca is going to be a, a very, very crucial part of this. Hold on a second. Okay, Rebecca has been charged up. Oh, Priscilla leveled up again! Wow! Okay! Alright, because Rebecca- yeah, Rebecca, like I was saying, Rebecca's gonna be a crucial part of this. Um, Lucius is part of the 20, the, the, yeah, the 20 club. So, oh wait, he can throw his hand axe from point blank range? That's right. Oh, yeah, it's not like an arrow. Man, I've been thinking about this all wrong. I really have, haven't I? Yeah, I've been thinking about this all wrong. Whatever, Lucius, just go in there and weaken him. Um, yeah, that 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 was expected. But we're gonna, and then we're gonna have Rebecca come in and get the kill. It's better that the 20 people don't get the kill because they can't get any more experience than they could get. So 19, yeah, unless you can kill him with the steel bow. Oh, wow, she could, but let's not risk it. Um, she'll just fire an iron bow right there, he'll throw his hand axe, whatever, and Rebecca will finish off the first four-fanged member that we've encountered. <laughs> oh, he doesn't- he doesn't say anything cool? Oh, he just dies. Alright, Rebecca gets the boss level up, and she's actually at level two! Just skill. Oh boy. Oh well. He's dead. And that ends the chapter. Oh wait, no, he's alive. Oh, here- oh, this is where he says something cool. Uh, are you well? I lost. My brother tried to warn me. You're strong. Too strong. Hmm. But I will not die quite so easily. What? You'll go with me. Ellie Wood! D do as you must. He's standing behind me. I, gu I guess he's holding him hostage. Huh? Uh, what, what did you... I noticed something during the battle. You did your best to keep the villagers clear of the fighting. Uh, of course. They've nothing to do with this. You are our target, not them. You are not evil. The Black Fang fights with honor. So why is it that we are enemies? It's your fault. You're evil. Huh? What? None of this makes sense. Sonia told Father that you're a band of criminals. Father agreed and I obeyed, but... Sonia? Isn't that... I'm going to withdraw for the moment. I'll be back when this is all straightened out. Huh, that was close. Forgive me, uh, I wanted to speak with him at least once. Don't worry, it's fine. After all, we learned a little something about our opponent. The Black Fang seems to have some honor after all. Perhaps they really are just being used by Nurgle. 
We should talk to their head, Brendan Reed. Perhaps we can resolve this without any more fighting. I wonder what's happened to Pent. He said he was going to talk to that queen lady. I don't like it. Sounds like a terrible plan. Hector's angry eyebrows. Uh, Hector, you're using your angry eyebrows again. Oh, let's get back to camp. We might have some word from Pent on the others. Ah, he, Hector's, Hector's on my wavelength. I wonder what that was all about. Hmm. Yeah, that was interesting. Uh, I've got to talk with my brother. I'm not sure it's wise to trust that woman. Uh! Oh! 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 Uh, how? You! I never felt you. Nothing. Mad dog Linus. Such wonderful quintessence. Uh, uh, curses! I, I, I've, blund I've blundered! But brother, I I'm sorry. Oh! Uh, are you awake? Oh, thank goodness! You! Uh, I know you! Uh-huh, we met many times. I, I don't think I told you my name, though. I'm Nino! Sonia's daughter! What are you doing? Huh? Uh, have you forgotten the law of the Fang? Sacrifice the wounded to salvage the strong. Uh, that, that, that's not, uh... I was unconscious, all alone, outside of our safe halls. You should have obeyed the law, killed me, and then fled. Yet you did it. Why? Uh, but, 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 uh, letting a comrade die? I, I couldn't do that. Don't be a fool. Uh oh <laughs> Don't move. Here, l lean on me. Don't touch. Please, don't move. So much blood. You're bleeding again. What do I do? It won't stop. Please. D don't die. You mustn't die. Linus. You fool. After all I told you. Uh, wait for me. I'll be joining you soon enough. And I'll bring you their corpses as a gift. Meanwhile, the burnt man's... Your Royal Highness, His Majesty the King has arrived. Where's Zephyr? Your Majesty, tis a pleasure to see you. What a glorious day that sees you grace... Uh, you see you grace us with your presence. Enough. Call the boy. Uh, your son? Your, your son is practicing his falconry. You knew I was coming, and yet you sent him away. Huh. As crafty as ever, woman. Very well, you will have to do. It's ten days until the boy's coming of age ceremony. I would speak of it. Uh, at last. Once the ceremony ends, our son is so long lingering in the shadows. Well, wait, oh my god. We'll be received that that's such a weird sentence, sorry about that. We'll be received uh, as the legitimate heir to your throne. Do you know how he how uh, how he has longed for this day? Cease your complaints, you and Zephyr. Queen and heir of Burn have never wanted for anything. We are here in this man's, uh, while you live in the palace, with that woman. You must be so disappointed that she bore you not a prince, but a princess. Helene, you go too far. My child who through me carries the noble blood of Etruria in his veins. Will be in ten days, be named as the rightborn heir to the throne. Ha 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 ha, no matter how many dote... No matter how many dote on her, your illegitimate daughter, Guinevere, is destined to be nothing more than a baseborn shadow. It is my son who shall reign and burn, my son, Zephiel. Ha 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 ha, how it goes me, gives me such pleasure to say those words. Have you said your mind? Well, I have something for you to hear as well. What could it be? Last night from the palace, the fire emblem was stolen away by some villain. It, it, it can't be. Ha! You are so wicked, your majesty. Pray tell, who would believe such a tale? The Fire Emblem is Burn's greatest national treasure. No gem in existence is its equal. Stealing such a heavenly guarded object is impossible, is it not? Unfortunately, I speak true. No. You know of the importance of the Fire Emblem. It's the symbol of the air, the heart of the ceremony. Without the emblem, the ceremony must be cancelled. No! No, th th this was your doing, wasn't it? How can you despise Zephiel so? He is of your blood, he is your beloved son, is he not? I have heard that Zephiel is, uh, a gifted student, a stunning fighter, excelling in all he tries. 
And I've also heard that he is much loved by the people. Yes, it's true, all of it. He is a worthy son. I exceed it neither books nor blades, but I do have the looks. What do you... I cannot say that I command the love of my subjects. Zephiel and I are opposites in every way. It is hard to believe that he is my son. Zephiel is your majesty's child. Your grace, you know it is the truth. Mine or not, without the ceremony, he will not be named heir. Mark my words and prepare yourself, woman. Ah, oh, your majesty, King Desmond, ple please wait. He is your heir, your son, please. What am I to do, Zephiel? I beg your pardon, your highness. You have a visitor. I will see no one. Send him home. Your highness, I am... Um... Well... It's all right. You may go. I will take care of this. Uh, yes, my lady. Oh, wait, my lady? Who said that? Oh, Louise, sorry. Lady Helene, it's been far too long. It is I, Louise. Louise, is it truly you? Ah, Louise. What is it? Your eyes are so red. Is it a shame to see such a beauty marred by tears? There is something. Something I. If it, if it please you, I would hear your troubles. My husband is here with me. Perhaps he will be able to lend you his aid. Lord Pend is also here? I see. To be honest... <laughs> Lord Pent, Lady Louise. Sorry to have kept you waiting. How did everything go? I can't say it was a complete failure, yet. What do you mean? Well, we've a task to perform. What do you mean? Queen Helene is looking for something. If we find it for her, she will listen to our request, right? We have until the morning of the tenth day from today. What, do, what will you do? The decision is your, yours. We'll do it. It is most certainly a test we were destined to take. All right, and with that, we close out the chapter Four Fang Defense. We didn't kill uh, Linus, uh, the member of the one of the Four Fangs, but it appears that one of Nurgle's morphs uh, absorbed his quintessence. I guess because he became none the wiser to the fact that we're actually good guys and not bad guys, which is probably just some BS that what's her name was feeding the Black Fang. But as far as this fire emblem is missing thing. It's very interesting. Um, but hey, if we want to find out where the Shrine of Seals is, we better do as C Queen Helene asks, or else we'll never beat Nurgle. So next time, guys, we'll figure out what's going on with this Fire Emblem object and hopefully get one step closer to defeating Nurgle. I'll see you guys next time. Gnome Shark out. Bye, everybody.